before I before I presented this, I was thinking I should either do something technical or something more of a of a story, and I kind of ended up on the story side. Uh, so uh, yeah, this is kind of my presentation of of how I ended up here. So a little background about myself. Um, uh, my name's Leon. Hello. Uh, I used to work at Shapeshift, and about uh, six or seven months ago, I was working at Binance, um, and I was contributing to Protocol Labs for a while. So during that time, about six months ago, I did a lot of uh, like you know your typical nine to five work, uh, but I wanted to do more experimenting, more like playing around with with new technologies, and and PL had a lot of cool tech that I wanted to play around with. So I was thinking about okay, what should I do, right? Um, so around, around that time, around six months ago, there was this uh, hackathon called Hackafest. And so uh, PL reached out to me and they said, hey, you should join this. Uh, it's sponsored by ETH Global, uh, Protocol Labs, and a bunch of other uh, sponsors. So I thought, okay, let's, uh, let's do something fun. Um, let's, let's give it a try, right? This is this hackathon a try. But a little disclaimer, uh, before I did this hackathon, my record was not that good in the hackathon space. Uh, in fact, I lost every single hackathon that I've attempted. 0 and 8, it's probably more. Um, all the hackathons that I've lost, they, they have like pity points, so they give you a shirt. Um, and I have a closet full of shirts uh, right behind me that, that kind of vouch for that. So my mindset joining was not to win. Um, so I was thinking, okay, let's, let's do something uh, more fun, right? So I had an option of either making a serious project that I've done before or doing something fun and, and making a game. So I kind of went down route number two making a game. Um, and for this project, I wanted to do two things. Number one, know how to make a game. I didn't know how to do that. And number two is uh, put the game on IPFS. So during that hackathon, those, those were my two goals. I was able to finish that uh, luckily in time. And so I finished the project um, and it is called IPFS FPS. Um, this is a screenshot or a little GIF explaining you know, what it does. If you want to play it, you can join uh, you can visit this link and, and give it a shot. So what's cool about this game is this whole game here lives on IPFS. Uh, this gun here is an NFT, and the leaderboard in the background is connected to uh, an Ethereum smart contract. So there's a lot of like crypto elements uh, baked in. So when I built this, uh, I got really lucky, and I won a few prizes. And I thought, okay, this is cool. Let me go back to my regular nine to five, and you know, just continue on. Uh, but that wasn't the case, um, and that's because a group called Tachyon uh, reached out to me. So Tachyon was, uh, is an accelerator program uh, run by Consensus. Uh, they reached out to me and they said, hey, Leon, uh, we like your idea. You should explore the space a bit more. And at that time, I was pretty comfy you know, in, in where I was. And I was really hesitant. I said no a bunch of times, but they're really persistent. And um, in the end, I decided to take a risk and quit my job at Binance and uh, join this, this accelerator program. And when I did, uh, it was a three month program. I spent a lot of time exploring the space and I realized uh, there's a lot of missing infrastructure uh, in, this, in this game world. So let me explain. So if you're trying to build a game, uh, sorry, if you're trying to build a website, right, you have all the tools necessary, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, Web3.js and Ethereum. If you're trying to build your crypto kitties, you have all the tech required. But if you're trying to build a game, uh, you're not gonna use HTML, CSS, you're gonna use a gaming engine. Um, such as Unity or Unreal. But the problem is this connection right, between the gaming engine and the blockchain. It's, it's simply not there. So that was a huge uh, opportunity for me to, to dive in and, and explore. So for the last three months, I was working on this project uh, that simply uh, fills in this piece. Right? It completes the, the tech stack and it's able to connect any game to the crypto ecosystem. So, uh, when I built this out, I was able to, to have uh, package everything into a nice SDK. Um, and right out the box, this SDK supports ERC20s, 721s, 1155s, and any custom contract that you want, such as that leaderboard. Uh, you build the game once, and you can export it to your browser, IPFS, iOS, Android, PC, and Mac. Um, and what's cool about this SDK is it's simple. Um, it's simply drag and drop and copy paste. So here's a little video demo explaining how it all works. So this is uh, Unity, uh, creating a blank project, saving it to my desktop. And the top right corner is the SDK. So to install it, I simply have to drag and drop, uh, click import. And just like that, I'm connected to any token, any marketplace. Um, and in here, there's a subfolder called prefabs. 
which have these pockets of functionality. So I can send, receive, um, and for example, get the balance of an 1155 token. So I drag it into the scene, hit play, go to console, and you'll see a number 332. So where's this number coming from? Uh, it's coming from an, exist an existing marketplace, OpenSea. So you own 332, right? In just a couple of clicks, I'm able to tap into um, a marketplace. So how does it work behind the scenes? Uh, the code's quite simple. There's a lot of complicated stuff behind the scenes, but I, I tried to ma make it easy for you all. So step number one is what is the network, right? Uh, Rinkeby. So I'm um, getting Rinkeby. Uh, step number two is what is the contract? 2EBE, 2EBE. I'm simply copy pasting over. And in one line, I'm connected to that uh, token. And I want to get the balance of my account um, with token ID 22, token ID 22. And in one line, I can get the 1155 balance of uh, that account. So this is really small piece of what this SDK can do. It can send, receive, connect to a lot of marketplaces. Um, but this isn't really too much about uh, the product. Um, I want this talk to be more, um, more general. So uh, this piece here is only one of three that um, the startup is, is working on. Oh. Um, so one of three. So the first part is, is storage, right? How to store the game. <clears throat> so the game is stored on IPFS, uh, the whole game. Uh, I plan or we plan on implementing new features such as um, character st storing character stats um, on Falcoin. Number two is uh, how to transfer value, right? Through, through Ethereum with NFTs, um, tokens, so on and so forth. Uh, with Ethereum. Uh, we plan on implementing more uh, blockchains, but as of right now, that SDK supports Ethereum. And the third part, uh, this will be done, this is around 90% done, by the way, um, and it'll be uh, public in a couple of weeks, so stay tuned. I have my contact later on. And uh, part three is, is the networking side of implementing uh, libp2p. So the community here is, is amazing. Um, I have a ton of support uh, on, on this piece right here. It's still being mapped out, but by having this, it's kind of the trifecta of, of creating uh, decentralized games, completely decentralized games. So that's kind of uh, the goal of this, this whole project. So to summarize, uh, I didn't end up here like talking to you guys. It's, it's such a weird journey, man. Like uh, it started off as a hackathon project uh, and it started off as just failure after failure. And then just one day deciding, let's just have fun with it. And it kind of snowballed to, to where I am today. Um, so this talk isn't so much about the technical side. I just wanted to share with you guys um, like more personal stuff and uh, give you guys one piece of advice. And that is, if you have an idea, just, uh, just go for it. You know, you, you never know where you're gonna end up. I'm in a, an amazing spot right now, working with really smart people, working on projects that I love. Uh, yeah, I, I think if you just go for it, you, you'll end up someplace, someplace like really great. So to, uh, to sum things up, uh, if you guys are interested in the project, um, or if you just want to chat, uh, here's my contact um, on Twitter and in Telegram. So thank you.